forget your hook, line and sinker. We've started to 3D print fish products. An Israeli food tech company says it has 3D printed the first ever ready-to-cook fish fillet using animal cells cultivated and grown in a laboratory. It's really tasty. <laughs> Israel's stakeholder foods has partnered with Singapore-based Umami Meats to make fish fillets. How does it work? Umami Meats first extracts cells, for now from grouper, and grows them into muscle and fat. Stakeholder foods then adds them to a, quote, bio-ink suited for special 3D printers. The result? A narrow fillet that mimics the properties of sea-cooled fish. Arik Kaufman is the chief executive of Stakeholder Foods. The flakiness is something that is much more easier to mimic. And with our patent-protected printing capabilities, we know to 3D print exactly the same texture and flakiness of a real fish. They can say that here the process is clean, it's transparent, the end product is antibiotics free, and I assume that in the future we will understand the health benefits of, of these cultivated meat uh, products. Umami hopes to bring its first products to the market in 2024, starting in Singapore and then in countries like the United States and Japan. Megumi Abigail Yoshitomi is the representative director of Japan Association for Cellular Agriculture. I can feel the same, almost the same um, experiment, uh, experience of the fish structure in my mouth. And I'm also um, um, in, um, really amazed by the juiciness and also the kind of a buttery uh, feel in my mouth. Lab-grown beef and chicken have been drawing attention as a way to sidestep the environmental toll of farming and tackle concerns over animal welfare. But few companies have forayed into seafood, and while the process of creating lab-grown fish is simpler than with beef, there are still some disadvantages. For one, cow stem cells have been studied extensively, but much less is known about fish, says Umami's chief executive, Mihir Pashad. We've managed to do it for grouper and for eel. Uh, we have three other species in our pipeline that are also endangered uh, sort of species that we'll be coming out with uh, publicly in the next few months. Meeting the price of fish from the sea is another key challenge. We want consumers to choose based on how it tastes and what it can do for the, for the world and for the planetary environment. And we want to take cost off the table as a consideration.